Congratulations on reaching 1,500 subs. That's so awesome, Jeremy Fee says. Question, what is your favorite poem by Charles Bukowski? Heart. Okay. Um, no, he didn't heart. I hearted his thing. Um, uh, there's a poem called Death that is usually like my go-to favorite poem of his. It cracks me up every time I read it. It's just... It's very lighthearted, but at the same time, like a series of horrible events that I can relate with so well. But I think the only place that that is widely available is on the Poems and Insults uh, live reading thing. I thought I had it in some like bootleg Bukowski book, but I can't. I've been looking for it through all my stuff and I can't find it. <clears throat> so lately it's been this one called the shoelace that um, I absolutely fucking love. And um, that one's in that one's in play the piano drunk, right? I think that one's in play the piano drunk. And then there's uh, Dinosauria Wee, and that was my favorite for a long time, and that's in The Last Night of the Earth poems. Um, but lately, <clears throat> like the last couple days, um, shit, I think it's in this one. And um, dangling in the Torn form. <laughs> I think it's in this one, but um, it's called uh, The Man at the Piano. And if you've never. Um, how long is it? I could probably read this real quick. I'll just read this real quick. So, The Man at the Piano. The man at the piano plays a song he didn't write, sings words that aren't his, upon a piano he doesn't own, while people at tables eat, drink, and talk. The man at the piano finishes to no applause, then begins to play a new song he didn't write, begins to sing words that aren't his upon a piano that isn't his, as the people at the tables continue to eat, drink, and talk. When he finishes, to no applause, he announces over the mic that he's going to take a ten-minute break. He goes back to the men's room, enters a toilet booth, bolts the door, sits down, pulls out a joint, lights up. He's glad he's not at the piano, and the people at the tables eating, drinking, and talking are glad he isn't there either. This is the way it goes almost everywhere with everybody and everything as fiercely in the highlands the black swan burns. Now, that poem is fucking awesome and the loneliness and dismal fucking nature of the piano player is just brilliant and then at the end when he says this is how it is everywhere with everyone and all this other stuff that makes total sense and then he gets kind of artsy and talks about the fierce highlands and the burning swan and all that shit and I honestly feel like whenever he does that he's just trying to prove to motherfuckers that he is a literary motherfucker no matter what anybody says it, it's it, it almost it almost gets me upset, but um, just the whole idea behind that um, is it's fucking it's brutal but beautiful at the same time. 